what looks like a transistor but isn't a transistor well lots of things actually but in this particular case I don't know if you can read that or not this is a 44e magnetic hall sensor <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how it works the hall sensor is basically an on off switch that senses the presence of a magnet so <clears throat> what I've got are some of these extremely powerful neodymium magnets and I've written a simple little sketch that's going to allow us to watch how this works so you can see on the screen it says hall sensor waiting and as I bring the magnet close to it nothing happens because that's the wrong side of the magnet they are polarized so if I bring the correct side to it I'm about three-eighths of an inch away and you can see it now says detected waiting detected waiting however if we bring it towards the back side it will detect the presence there of the other pole so now you see how the hall sensor can detect a magnetic field and act as a switch so here's what I've set up for this little doodad here we've got the LCD screen and I've done a bunch of videos on how to set that up so we're not going to go over it and then we have the hall sensor let me zoom in closer so it has three pins the signal the positive and the ground now you need to wire a uh, 10k resistor between two of the pins it's already done for us here on <clears throat> this little breakout board and then from the signal pin we are going into digital pin 8 on the Arduino so let's jump over there to the computer and have a look at that all right here's my code for this little simple hall sensor we're including the liquid crystal library because we're using the LCD screen and we're defining hall pin as pin number eight and we're declaring an integer variable called hall sense setting its value to zero then we call the library here liquid crystal LCD and the pins for setup we tell it the size of the LCD 16 by 2 and we set our pin for input so the first part of the loop we say hall sense equals digital read of hall pin then we set our cursor upper left corner we print hall sensor then we set our cursor down one line and we say if hall sense equals zero meaning the trigger was censored it's um, active low hey I guess we didn't need to do that twice I don't know why I did it but anyway <laughs> LCD print detected delay 10 milliseconds and then we say else so if it's one which is the untriggered state we print waiting that's all there is to it all right let's go back and check it again and I'll show you how we can use it as an RPM sensor all right now we can use <coughs> our magnetic sensor as an RPM sensor by putting some magnets on a spinny thing I've been involved in model aviation for over 25 years and I like to fly the giant scale gasoline powered planes that use you know 50 75 100 cc engines and on the propeller shaft they have a magnet embedded and then they use a hall sensor to trigger the electronic ignition now they use one hall sensor and the 
shaft is counterweighted so everything balances out right. What I've done here is I've got this disc mounted on a stick with two magnets. And as I bring that close to the hall sensor and I spin it, you can see we get an RPM reading. That one says 55 RPM. Let's reset it and see if I can make it any better. Kind of hard to <coughs> just hold this and spin it correctly. All right, we got it up to 76 RPMs. So let me show you the code that I use to do that. It's pretty simple. All right, here's our code for the RPM counter. And all of this here is the same. We declare some new variables, do the liquid crystal stuff, blah, blah, blah. Now down to the main loop, we say now equals millis. So we'll grab the current milli count as the program starts. Then we will call this function RPM. So here we are at RPM. And we say then equals now plus 3000. For integer i equals now, i less than or equal to now, i increment by one. And then we say hall sense equals digital read of the hall pin. And if hall sense equals zero, meaning that it's triggered, the counter is incremented by one. Then we do this little formula. RPMs equals counter times 20 divided by two. So what that is, up here, we monitor the hall sensor for three seconds. Three times 20 is 60, which is one minute. RPMs are rotations per minute. So count, we, we say RPMs is equal to the counter, which is one third of a minute times 20, which is the whole minute. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Boy, my math is way off. Counter times 20, and then we divide it by 2 because there's two magnets. And we return the value RPMs, which up here gets printed. And then the program restarts itself. Pretty simple. A little RPM counter, a hall sensor. It can be a switch. It can be a counter it can be a whole lot of things. It's just another way of getting input into your Arduino to make it do something useful. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share it, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?